Welcome, friends, to another exciting episode of The Messenger Presents A VGM Journey. And I'm your host, The Messenger. The track that we are playing into the show with today is Stardust from the game Lazy Jones, and it was composed by David Whitaker. You probably are not familiar with Lazy Jones, but you're probably familiar with this song if you've ever been to any kind of sporting event. Because the group Zombie Nation actually took Stardust and turned it into Kerncraft 400. And that's why that song probably sounds familiar to a lot of people. But not really f- familiar with with uh, Lazy Jones. So I actually thought that was kind of a, a fun pick for the show. Don't really have a whole lot of top of the show business. So let's get into our next track we got something from thunder force 4 also known as lightning force which i always thought that was kind of an odd name uh the track is evil destroyer and it was composed by takeshi yoshida and toshiharu yamanishi track that we just played that was evil destroyer from the game thunder force 4 and it was composed by takeshi yoshida and toshiharu yamanishi seems like every show i've always got to play a real good rocking track and this episode is no exception i know a lot of people seem to have an issue with the genesis slash mega drive sound you know they describe it as tinny or very abrasive which i mean i know you kind of get that abrasiveness from this track but you know i gotta say it only the this genesis always does rocking music really well and thunder force 4 is probably easily one of my most favorite uh genesis soundtracks ever every track on that game is just face melting goodness I want to keep the whole rock vibe going and also still on a little bit of a doom kick as well if you heard the last show which came out a few days ago at the time of this recording 
Got something from Doom 2. It's called Running From Evil, and it was composed by Robert Prince. was Running From Evil from the game Doom 2, and it was composed by Robert Prince. Yeah, I promise that uh, that might be the last Doom track for a little while, unless you guys really want some more Doom stuff. So I know I've been playing a lot of Doom and Doom 2 as of late, just because, you know, I'm really, really hyped for Doom Eternal and, you know, what that game's going to be like, and in the soundtrack as well even though we already got like a little bit of a good taste of it on the last show so don't want to dwell on that too much decided i'm going to bring something just a little bit out of left field <laughs> uh pun intended because it is from world-class baseball it's the main bgm it's just the music that plays during gameplay and i actually could not find any composer info for it so I'm just going to credit it to Mr. and Mrs. Unknown.
That was Main BGM from the game World Class Baseball and composed by Mr. or Mrs. Unknown, whoever they are. I salute you. And that was such a home run of a track, too. And I believe this marks the first time that I've played anything from the TurboGrafx-16 on this show. So, there you go. That's a that's a milestone of a track. I actually wasn't really too familiar, you know, with that game until I hear you have to listen to every single episode of Select BGM and they use this as their intro song, kind of just like the uh, Area 1 theme from Blaster Master with Legacy Music Hour. My question to you guys is that Whenever you hear a certain VGM track, do you associate it with anything else? Like, other than the game itself? You know, just let me know on Facebook or Discord, or or you could email, you know, your answer into vgmjourney at yahoo.com. So I'm pretty curious on what you guys got to say. I'm going to keep the train rolling on these unknown composers because, well... I got a pretty random track here. It's from Winnie the Pooh Adventures in the 100 Acre Wood. It's BGM number 13, and just like that world-class baseball track, I could not find any composer for it, so let's uh, give that one a listen. That was BGM number 13. That was from the game Winnie the Pooh, Adventures in the 100 Acre Wood, and I could not find any kind of composer for it. So whoever you are, I thought you did pretty good. You know, I gotta admit, I actually did play that game when I was younger, and it's really not that good. But for whatever reason, the music kind of stuck with me. It might be just more of a nostalgia thing, but it's not that bad. Well, that's just going to about do it for the show this week. If you like what you've been listening to, give me a five-star rating on Apple Podcasts and tell your friends about the show and have them, you know, check me out on 
Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, whatever kind of podcatcher that you use, you know, definitely check me out on there. And also give me an email at vgmjourney at yahoo.com. I'm always looking for requests. I'm going to play us out with just one more pretty special track. It's from the Game Boy Advance version of Donkey Kong Country 3. It's Stilt Village, and it was composed by David Wise. Have a good week, everyone.